Black Power family. Today I will be bringing you a most powerful, powerful, powerful debate. That's right, this one is definitely for the babies. Today I will be having your brother, Brother Polite. That's right, Brother Polite. Okay, and before y'all Negroes start talking, I know y'all Negroes is going to say, I thought you said Polite was a scam artist. I thought you said you can't trust me. Everything he says is a lie. Well, that was in the past, fam. You can't keep hating or you can't keep those feelings aside. You got to come together. So today I'm bringing you Brother Polite versus Nature Boy. That's right. And the topic that we'll be discussing is, is money God or is the son God? So tune in, fam. Mm. That should be me up there, Shaka Almost, debating with Nature Boy. Not polite. I don't know what kind of bromance him and Sarnetta have, but he keeps putting this fraud as polite in front of me. He even gave him an award over me. He gave him the award for best debater. And come on now, family. Y'all know I'm the best debater. I don't know if Polite's paying them off. He can't be paying them off because last time he said Polite robbed them when they did a debate together. So I don't know what the deal is. He even called Polite a scam artist and said you can't believe a word that he says. But look at him now. They back together like Batman and Robin. Okay, so first I want to introduce to y'all Brother Polite. That's right, Brother Polite. Say some words, Brother Polite. Thank you, Sarnetta. And let me assert that I am happy to be here to engage with Nature Boy in this very, very monumental debate that will be taking place as said. Oh, anytime, brother, anytime. You know you are always welcome here at the HOK. No matter what no one say, you know, I know they talk a lot of craziness about you. I even talk craziness about you, but I can do that. You see what I'm saying? Because you, my homeboy, we came up together. We understand each other. And I'm glad, I'm glad that you are back on the platform blessing us with your presence because... Because you, you one of the founders of the HOK. I mean, you helped it grow. That's why I gave you an award. See, that's why I gave you an award. Even though we was beefing or whatever, you still got an award. Because I appreciate you and what you bring to the House of Consciousness, which is more money. Okay, so I just introduced Polite. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to introduce to y'all Nature Boy. Can I get a round of applause for Nature Boy? What up, son? Man? First and foremost, I would like to say I am Jesus Christ in the flesh. That's right. I'm Jesus Christ in the flesh. And can't nobody tell you different. I am the returning Christ. Yes, I am. I know you. I know it's your show, but I had to get that out before we even start going anywhere. First and foremost, I am Jesus Christ. And if you, if you don't listen to my words and take my words at Judgment Day, y'all motherfuckers gonna burn. Y'all motherfuckers gonna burn in hell. That's what's gonna happen to y'all. Straight burning in hell. No games. Burning in hell. Right. Okay. That was scary and powerful at the same time. <laughs> that was crazy. All right. All right. All right, family. With no further ado, we will just hop right into this. Uh, the first question will be asked by no other than Brother Polite. Give it up one more time for Brother Polite. Okay, 
So we all can come to a conclusion that money is my deity, my religion, right? So what I have to ask you, nature boy, is give me a time in history where we have ever bought it, exchanged, or collectively as civilized people use something other than money. You keep talking about we exchange morals. Give me a time in history where we exchange morals as a currency and not money. Okay, before I answer your question, Brother Polite, I would like you to answer a question. And it's a simple question. And the question is, who owns your bank? The CEO is accredited to owning the bank, uh, running the bank, and uh, acquiring all of the necessities there is to do banking. Okay, Polite. Are you ready to tap out? (laughs) Because everyone knows the CEO of a bank is not the owner of the bank. And the CEO, the CFO, and several other members of this bank that I bank at uh, own the bank. And they are all black people. That was a powerful, powerful, powerful statement from Brother Polite. I, I hope y'all got y'all listening ears on, fam. I hope y'all do, because it's only going to get better from here on out. Come on, Polite. You smarter than this, man. Stop faking, man. You know that the CEO doesn't own the bank. The CEO just runs the bank. That's not what I'm talking about, but you know what I'm talking about, but you try to make everything complicated. What I'm trying to get at is who owns the bank? You know the Federal Reserve owns the bank. Uh, That is logically incorrect because the Federal Reserve does not facilitate ownership of the bank. Come on now. You know what I mean. I meant to say that the Federal Reserve prints the money. Once again, you are incorrect. The Federal Reserve does not partake in the printing of money. Come on, brother polite. Stop it, man. Just stop it with all the semantics. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You keep trying to overcomplicate things, and I'm trying to make stuff simple. You know the question I'm asking. The question that I'm asking you is a simple one. I'm asking you, who owns the money? I don't see no black people's faces on the money, so who owns the money? Ghana's money Got black people on it. So does that mean that black people own Ghana's money? (laughs) I don't know. Polite deflect him from the real question. But he did counter back with a good question. Because Ghana money got black people on it. But does that mean that they own the money? We not talking about Ghana, brother, polite. Come on, man. Come on, man. Stop trying to complicate things, man. And misdirect the people, man. Come on, man. Do you spend Ghana money? No, you don't. That's not the notes you got in your pocket. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Who owns money? I mean, you claim that money is your religion, right? Well, all right then. If money is your religion, this should be a simple question for you to answer. Who owns money? 
Right? Because whoever owns money has to be your God if your religion is money. So what are you trying to articulate here? Are you trying to say that the person who owns money owns me? Is that what you're trying to say? Because if that is what you are insinuating, then obviously the person who owns money owns you as well. Because I'm certain that you use money to do your daily dealings. Money is evil, but it's your religion. Listen, polite. The owner of money don't own me. It owns you. You the one that said money is your religion. So whoever owns the money has to be your God. That's not my God. I don't see money like that. I don't use money the way you use money. To invest in stuff and put it in the bank for rainy days and stuff. I use money for what it's for. To get stuff for the now. You know, I'm trying to buy land. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be self-sufficient. Have my own water, my own electricity, my own livestock, my own fruits and berries and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm with, with two different people. I'm talking something entirely different. You see what I'm saying? So once again, let me ask you the question. Who owns money? Okay. So money is evil. But you're using it to acquire what's required to function in a civilized natural habitat? Is that what you're saying? So let's backtrack and elaborate here. So, in short terms, you are saying that money is evil, but the evil money can be used for good sometimes. I never said money was evil. I said that money is the root to all evil. That's what I said. That is what you said. You said earlier that money was evil. Oh, so now you're trying to retract what you said earlier? About money is evil and say now that money is the root of all evil. Listen, listen, polite. I'm not going to do this with you. I'm not going to go through this with you. You know exactly what I'm saying. You know exactly what I'm saying. Now you're trying to flip what I say with semantics, trip one word, go into definitions of words and all this wordplay. I'm just trying to keep it simple for the people, man. I'm not trying to confuse the people. Okay, let's keep it simple for the people. I, I'm trying to say that nature is the religion that we are supposed to be practicing. Well, since you want to reference nature, you're taking God out of context because the definition of nature is physicalities and all of the physical things in this world. So you're not talking about space or any of that. You're just talking about the earth. Come on now. Come on now, Brother Polite. Stop it, man. We're not going to keep doing this. We're not going to keep going back and forth with the dictionary terminologies when you know that they got more definitions for a word than just one. You're looking at nature at one definition. I'm looking at nature as a force. So by your logic, the sun in the sky, that's not a natural thing. The moon, that's not natural either, huh? Come on, come on. I know you're smarter than this. You're smarter than this, polite. That don't even make sense. So stars aren't natural. That's what you're saying? The root word of natural is nature. You can't use one without the other. Come on, man. I know you're smarter than this. Now you're starting to sound like an agent. It seems like you looked up the definition of nature. But what you did is you only looked at one definition of nature. If you go to dictionary.com and you look at definition number six, 
it clearly says the sum total of the forces at work throughout the universe. Throughout the universe, Brother Polite. So everything you said is non and void. And you're just using big words and you're, you're making definitions of words up to fit what you want it to mean and not what I'm trying to say. Nature Boy is correct, though. I just went to dictionary.com and looked up the word nature. And they got more than one definition. And one of the definitions describes it as a force in the universe. Better yet, man, just just stop changing the subject and just answer the question, man. It was a simple question. You done took us so far from the question that we into some other shit. Just get back to the question. The question is, who owns money? Okay. So what we have here is an evolution of questions. And believe me, brother, I'm taking down every question that you asked me, and I'm going to address them, but you must allow me to address them. You can't have me answer the questions the way that you want me to answer the questions. You must allow me to answer the questions the way I find suitable and fit to answer the questions. There's only one question, Polite. I've been asking you the same question the whole time. Come on, man. The question is, who owns money? Who owns it? Not to change the subject, but Nature Boy, you are aware that light is solid. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is incorrect. Light is solid, liquid, and gas. <laughs> Come on, man. They right. They was right about you. <laughs> you dumb for real. You just know how to use big words. <laughs> well, you've never seen a neon light. <laughs> you you don't know how neon lights work. How it's a gas inside of the tube that lights up. You're an idiot. I beg to differ. That's an opinion, not a scientific fact. I thought you would have been smarter than this, but I'm seeing that you really aren't that smart. Because the definition you gave of nature describes the physical world and you were so adamant about saying the physical world when you don't even understand that we got a science called quantum mechanics which breaks down atoms and molecules and shows you that the fundamental building blocks of physicality aren't even physical. They're mostly uh, empty space. So. Again, everything you keep saying is non-void. And I know you're smarter than this, Polite. You're smarter than this, but you want to use these big words and confuse the people and make it seem like the, the, the foundation that you're coming from is correct when the foundation that you're coming from is all wrong with today's science. Um, if I could interject... Uh, the basis and premises of what you are referring to now is in the realms of pseudoscience. I thought we were talking about nature. <laughs> See, you wrong, brother Polite. It's not pseudoscience. How can it be pseudoscience when they have instruments that can measure atoms, that can see atoms now. They have microscopes, electron microscopes. They have things that can see the smallest particles. They have CERN, this big thing called CERN, that they shoot particles through and break particles apart to see the smaller particles. How is that pseudoscience, man? See, you love to use big words and be don't be knowing what the hell you're talking about. I'm not talking about pseudoscience. I'm talking about actual and factual, something that you can look at and, and reproduce yourself. Atoms. We can look at atoms, the smallest part of atoms now. Quarks and all of that good stuff. Don't tell me I got to school you, brother. You supposed to be the educated brother. Okay, okay, stop, stop. Let's stop right there. If you want to talk about quantum physics, then you got to say that gas is physical and air is physical. 
Am I correct or am I wrong about that? Hold up, hold up, hold up, Polite. Are you talking about gas that you put in your car? Or are you talking about the gases that we breathe in, which make up the air? Because what you're doing is you're saying that gas is solid, physical, and you're saying that air is physical when air is made up of gases. That's all it is. It's made up of gases. You think that you just it's just something invisible floating around? No, you're, you're living in a pool of gases. Come on, man. I feel like I'm debating a fifth grader if you don't even know that. Come on, man. So that's what you want to go with. You want to go with gas and air is physical. I hate to admit it, but Brother Polite is right. Gas is physical. So, you mean to tell me that when you put air inside of a balloon, blow it up, and hold on to it, that the air isn't physical? Is that what you're trying to tell me? <laughs> Nah, dummy. What I'm trying to tell you is, is that when you blow up the balloon with air and you feel the and you feel on the balloon with your hands, you are feeling the physical balloon. You're not feeling the physical air which blew the balloon up. You're feeling you're feeling the balloon. (laughs) Not the air. Come on. That's you sound retarded. The only physical property in the in the what in the whole equation is the balloon. That's the physicality. Pop the balloon. Is 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 can you catch the air that's inside of that balloon? Can you move with it? No, you cannot. What you felt was the pressure of the air inside of the balloon making the balloon, which is already physical, more physical. Uh uh-uh, uh uh uh, we're not gonna play those games. See, I don't think you know what you're talking about. If you blow up a balloon and if it takes up space, that means it's occupying something. D equals M over V. D equals M over V. Density equals mass over volume. See, the problem is, nature boy, you like to use the colloquial meaning of words. You see, spirit means breath, and breath is physical. That's why I asked you what was air physical, because breath is air, and air is spirit by meaning, by Latin meaning. And nature is physical. So you're never going to hear no scientist talking about space, talking about it's nature. They're going to say force. They're not going to say nature. I mean, I don't care if the dictionary.com has nature definition as any force in the universe. That's not what I'm talking about. And it's all about what I'm talking about. And fuck, fuck what everybody else talking about. <laughs> Woohoo, fam. Polite is giving Nature Boy the blues. Come on, brother Polite. Stop changing the subject. I asked you a simple question, man. One question. And now you everywhere. You talking about solids and air and gases. We don't need to do all that, man. Just answer the question, man. Who owns money that's it and if you can't answer the question the debate is over man because i'm not gonna keep going back and forth and all over the world because you can't answer a question you keep bringing up solids liquids and gases but you fail to talk about is plasma the fourth element that makes up physicality why why is he leaving out plasma 
because his brain ability doesn't have the ability to put plasma into his construct of what he is actually trying to say. What the hell are you talking about, Polite? I'm only talking about solids, liquids, and gases because you keep changing the subject. I asked you a simple question, bro. The question is so simple. Why are you trying to mislead the people? Why are you trying to make something so simple be complicated? I asked you a simple question. Who owns money? Money is used to perform transactions. Okay, money is not evil. It is a form of currency. Okay, was it evil when you had to leave one island and congregate to another island? No, but I don't know what it is with our black people. They have a tendency to say stuff is evil when they see a white man's face on it. I don't understand that. Spherical typical puppers was right, man. Polite ain't nothing but a zip coon. And you keep stating that I'm using big words, but I'm not using big words. They might be words that you can't comprehend. They might make you feel insecure, but I don't care because my goal is to teach what I'm talking about. So I always make sure that I define where I'm going. You know what? I think it would just be better if we try to build at a better time because it seems like we're going nowhere with this. I keep telling you you're not answering my question. The question was, who owns money? You've never answered that question. You've defined to the t fine tooth and got nowhere. So we should just try to do this on another, at another time. All right, family. So there you have it. Another great debate from the HOK. Um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to uh, end the debate and we're going to go to the phones and I'm going to take phone calls and I want to get y'all reaction to how y'all felt about the debate and I want to know who you think proved their point the best. And make sure you tune in later, fam, because later on I will have Garfield, brother Garfield, that's right, on the show. I will talk to him about his campaign against Dane Calloway. He's on day 265 of going on Dane Calloway about his indigenous aboriginal beliefs. And we know that that's false. And we know that we all come from Africa. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Sarnetta. Thank you. Yeah, man. Me pan the boy back, man. The boy Dan Calloway, he might teach that bumba cloud foolishness. Talking about black people were already in the Americas. Like them aboriginal, indigenous. Crazy man, crazy. Everyone around the world know that black people uh, come from Africa. The only place we come from. Out of the whole world, the only place we come from is Africa. And I will stay on him every day. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine years from now, he will be on my page. I will be broadcasting him because the boy is a liar. And we have to get to the bottom of this. And all of him, viewers of them, we have to take them and make them believe what we believe, what we always used to believe, what the white man teach us. We come from Africa. That's right, Brother Garfield. Stay on his neck. Stay on his neck. Because we can't have Dane Calloway teaching those lies to our babies. We got to protect our babies. So, once again, you've tuned into the HOK Black News 102. And I like to say to the family, stay black, black power, and I'm out. <laughs> hey, yo, Pharaoh, ever since we left, that nigga signed that hello. The House of Consciousness has been going downhill ever since. He can't find no good debate or no good debaters. You right about that, Seti. That nigga reign is officially over.